everyone, I'm Honeywell, and this is part four of our planet base challenge. <laughs> Looks like night is coming. And we're building a power collector over there. Okay, so we actually have a pretty good start. We've built everything that we that we can and we're kind of self-sustaining but we have this spare timer that is ticking away so we need to make some progress we also want some more colonists definitely I'm sure what do we have workers We need another engineer. Why? I hate this system. I hate it. Um, we need another engineer. A biologist would be nice. Actually, no. This is so stupid. Sorry, that's probably a little negative. <laughs> okay. Uh, I want another engineer and some workers, and so hopefully that'll happen. There's nobody in there. Is it nighttime yet? We're still charging up. Oh, we're not even... Oh, no, we're draining down. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to leave that on for a little bit and, and hope we get some uh, colonists. To arrive. Basically what we need to do right now is we need to fix our power situation so we have enough power to keep things on and to actually run the colony. Perfect. Let's see who we got. Two workers. That is insanely good. And we'll turn that back on tomorrow. And what do we want tomorrow? Um, I want a biologist and an engineer. Yes, a biologist and an engineer. Um, I'm playing a little bit of a, we have a little bit of a balancing act here. We only can produce so much food. Um, we only have oxygen for so many people, but I want to get in, um, enough workers, which we have, um, one more biologist. So when we build a lab, they can work the lab. And I need another engineer because if anything happens to Daria, it's game over. And it's going to be game over because I'm going to be destroying this landing pad shortly in order to, to get the metal to kind of fund our expansion here. You can see we're down to three spares. I think it was the last episode we had a meteor impact on our solar panel. So we need to... Uh, speed up the process here. But part of the problem with that is actually more people can go in the mine. I, oh, I'm an idiot. Uh, more people can go in the mine than can work the processing plant. So we're going to go ahead and close the processing plant, open up the mine for all of those workers to go break their limbs. And they're actually usually in the bed. Okay. Um, so anyway, we have these people, but we have to get this power situation sorted out so I can actually keep this stuff open and have people use it. Yes, power storage is low. Let's turn that off. And, yeah, it's just a waiting game. 
And part of the reason why um, I'm playing at a at this one time speed instead of speeding it up to four times while we wait for kind of the stuff to happen is because I'm micromanaging this so much. I don't want to to have things closed and have people not be able to access them when they need them. And if I'm playing at four times speed, I can really cause some damage to my colony. I know, worker. I just don't have power to turn this on. Go get in the mine. Well, uh... Well, Jamie... I don't know why Jamie left. Or Maria. Maria's getting something to eat. Can't you guys just stay in the mine? There's not much <laughs> else for you to do. Collect some overtime. Yeesh. Is everyone up? I know it's critical. What do you think? Let's open that up. Uh, the reason why I'm being careful with this is I don't want the power to be shut off to the biodome. As we keep having all of these people come in, uh, this food is going to become even more important. And how many workers do we have? Six workers. Three in the mine. And three in here, so everyone can be busy if they so choose. And again, this is a kilowatt of power. So, uh, yeah. See how that goes. Which I'll probably end up destroying this in just a minute in order to build this power collector. But that's okay. Our engineer is not doing anything. Yes. She would enjoy having something to do. Let's uh turn this back on and see if we can can't get our the rest of our colonists. The sooner we get um more colonists in, the sooner I can destroy that landing pad, the sooner we can make some more building progress. Okay, idle worker. Oh, actually, Slade is our one worker. I guess he's not going to be getting to work. <laughs> Uh, that's okay. Someone can, uh, I'm actually going to prioritize this. Which will hopefully keep, keep one of our workers from being, uh, being injured. Bianca, Jamie, or LL <laughs> can come out in, uh, and work the metal processor. Our food is stacking up. One of the nice things with this is we're producing um, uh, pasta instead of basic meals. So that's doing a couple things. It's preventing uh, malnutrition but it's also improving their morale. You'll see that everyone is uh, fairly happy and they're gonna stay that way if they eat good food at a table. We're almost halfway through the day. I just wanna make sure that this uh, power collector 
uh, fills up before the night time. We have everything running, and I'm not sure that it's going to. It looks like it's a uh, it's lunch break time. I'm wondering if I should pause this while we're waiting for stuff to happen. Pause the recording. But I think you can, uh... I don't know if anyone's gonna watch this anyway. So I think we'll just keep it going. Hopefully it won't be too boring. Daria, get back inside. You're our only engineer. If a solar flare comes, we're in trouble. Actually, we're we're still okay, even if. So Why are you thirsty? Go get a drink. Do we already do we already need to start needing more water? It's dedication, Jamie. Good job. And Dallas is our medic who has nothing to do. Let's uh, try turning this off again and back on and seeing if that magically makes the colony ship appear. Our status is good. But some more paper will make me happy. Still have three spares. And even with everything on this looks I think this is gonna fill up. Perhaps. And tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, we should have uh just a little bit more energy to work with, which will be nice. Everyone's tired. I guess I have to turn back on the dorm. <laughs> and... And we'll turn off something. I don't know what, though. And we just now finished. And what do we have here? Recycle this, and they'll take that last bit of metal out, and we'll get that built overnight, so tomorrow morning it'll be completely, tomorrow morning it'll be completely ready. And we also need to do our kind of uh, poor man storage solution here. Because we don't have any storage um, if I don't have anything queued up to be built, nothing is going to come out of these machines, so. Everyone's out of the mine. They're going to be going to bed. And we're going to turn off the landing pad so we can keep the processing plant going. And since we have the the metal for that, I think our next our next building is going to be our sick bay. Or should I do the lab next? No, we'll do the sick bay and then the lab. The sick bay only takes two of each, so that's a pretty quick build. 
our sick bay over here, our lab off of the off of the canteen. I'm going to build the lab where they'll produce uh, a little bit of Virtra meat. And uh, medicinal supplies. And eventually I'll convert this to just um, producing the medical plants. But that can't happen yet. Okay, good job. That is up. And we're already getting the lab, or the sick bay. Do we have enough for that already? Let's get our bioplastic processor back. And since we're queuing up buildings, we actually don't need. Let's free up that. That's okay. I think we're going to keep this processor on. It's not that low. We're about halfway through the night. And what is that waiting on? One metal and one plastic. So let's recycle this plant. Oh, I recycled that for nothing. That's okay. Uh, we'll need a, a bed for in there anyway, so that's fine. I'm a, even at one time speed, we're making, a, we're making a lot of progress here. We're gonna have a tiny bit more power to work with. We'll have our sick bay, so, so poor Slade, who has been injured like since the start of the game, will be fixed. As soon as we get, as soon as we get some more colonists in, I'll go ahead and delete that landing pad in order to get a large solar panel up, and that will be good. And it's going to be a while before we're able to put back in a landing pad. So if anything were to happen to our engineer, and I destroy that landing pad, then the it's over because. What do we have here? Should we just let the power go out? I'm thinking maybe not. So, well, no one's in here anyway. Decisions, decisions. Well, let's turn off the bunks. There's somebody outside or I turn off the airlock. As soon as, as soon as our biologist gets back in, we'll close the airlock for a second. He's going outside. Oh, you're gonna build it. Just our luck. Morning is coming, our engineer is outside. How much do you want to bet we'll have a solar flare? <laughs> that would be our luck. Hurry up, Daria. Finish that and get inside. And power is just about gone. Will we make it? Hurry up. The good job building the... Uh... Okay, we're going to have a solar flare... The air power will go out, the airlock will go off, our one engineer will be stuck outside. Yay, Daria, you made it back alive. Are we collecting power now? Okay, let's turn all of this stuff back on. We'll get the med bay in. Oh, 
hopefully Slade will get over there and uh, and get fixed up. And we'll have exactly, we have seven workers, so three can be in the, how many workers do we have? We have six, so three can be in the mine, three can be in here. And here's our long-awaited colony ship. What do you have? Perfect. Who is this engineer? Elsa. Elsa. Elsa the engineer is exactly what I wanted to see. And we have a, another biologist, six workers, we're going to, I'm going to see if we can't get another shipment of workers. I'm like ordering them like they're commodities. <laughs> okay, we'll see if we can get another shipment of, of workers before I destroy that landing pad. And do we want decisions, decisions? How much? We have nothing. I am going to say, we're going to put in the lab before the solar panel and hope that it's enough power just because we're going to need a little bit more food to support these 12 colonists and I can put our medical person to work. Okay, let's do that. Lab first and then and then the largest solar panel. Bye bye TV. It was nice while it lasted. You'll get a TV back another day. Okay, so we need three metal and three plastic for that. And we almost have what we need. Okay, uh, things are absolutely going well here. Um, we have enough people. We're getting some of the uh, beyond basic buildings up here. Uh, we're sorting out our power situation and uh, I'm pretty pleased. Okay, we're going to call it an end of an episode here. Thank you for watching and I hope you'll join me for part five.